getting a job actually is everyone's desire irrespective of the career which you are in and the devops space is not an exception some people actually face difficulties in the process of getting their first job in the devops industry this video is designed to give you all you need to know as far as getting your job is concerned in my opinion these things are actually things which have collected after several years of experience in the devops field and i feel like these are things which people are missing out and if you can pay attention to the end of this video you will learn some of these things and practice some of these things you get yourself your first job after six months with these skills you can get yourself your first role hi welcome to devops mike and mike and if this is your first time coming across our content do well to hit the subscription button to get all our recent content if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here with us and constantly tuning in to see the most recent content which you have why not hit the notification bell to get more recent updates on our content for five things which i believe that if you can do you will land yourself your first devops job the very first thing which you must do if you want to get yourself your devops job is for you to gain the skill right you cannot get a job or you cannot be successful in an interview if you do not have the devops skill now when i talk about the devops skill there are a set of technologies remember devops is a set of technologies tools and practices which you can implement to deliver code or to deliver applications in the most reduced time when you learn this set of tools and this set of applications you can get yourself upskilled to be successful in any interview now these tools range from tools that have to do with server management learning at least a server technology maybe apache engineers learning a particular programming language perhaps you learn python learning bar scripting or you learning scripting generally be it uh, bar scripting or shell scripting any of them that you feel comfortable with at least learning a scripting language going further to learning a particular cloud technology you might learn amazon web service you might learn google cloud or you might learn microsoft azure or ibm cloud the one that you feel comfortable with but i recommend you starting with amazon web service then you learn continuous integration and continuous deployment technology maybe jenkins like a CI or you learning a particular database management system, be it sequential database systems, MySQL or non-sequential, that's DynamoDB. And then you equally learning infrastructure as code technologies, you learning Terraform for infrastructure automation, you learning Kubernetes for container orchestration, you learning Docker for container creation or container management, and you learning Ansible for configuration management. And then you can go further to learn particular or monitoring techniques, right? You want to monitor your servers in production or in the deployment or in the testing phase you can learn a monitoring technology like prometheus or grafana and lastly you put in efforts to learn a particular logging technology you might learn splunk or you might learn elk so you having the skill is the very first step for you being ready to get your job once you have this skill set you're already one step ahead in the process of getting your first devops job the second thing which i recommend you doing before your interview before getting your first job is you should create a project repository you want to use a source code management tool like github to create a project repository now when you create a project repository do well to execute 10 devops projects if you execute 10 devops projects and store in your repository through the implementation of those 10 devops projects you find yourself being versed with the technology remember i just mentioned all the technologies and you want to make sure that you have a project repository that covers a given number of these projects so by the time you're going for interviews you already have projects that you've implemented you already have things that you've done that you're comfortable or they are comfortable to share to interviewers or to recruiters and all of that can even be referenced in your project repository so you want to make sure that you have a project repository that keeps track of all your projects that you've implemented if not all but a majority of projects which you are comfortable sharing now after you've set up your project repository on github you want to make sure you have a compelling resume your resume like like I said is your first impression which every recruiter has about you we already did a video on how to design or how to have a compelling resume you want to watch that video and make sure that you're versed with how to create a compelling resume your resume is very important because it outlines the skill set which you have aligns your years of experience or it aligns your experience and gives recruiter a feel of who you are before even your interviews so making a compelling resume is a third step and third most important step which you must have if you want to learn yourself your devops job after you've gotten a compelling resume you want to make sure that you set up a profile on job search platforms we equally did a video on some of the most trending job search platforms you also want to watch that video to know the job search platforms which you can use to get yourself your job if you have a compelling resume you can go to those platforms like dice like indeed like freelancer like upwork a couple of those sites i did a video and you can watch the video to know all the various we did 10 sites which you can use to get your first job 
so you can as well set a profile or set up an account on linkedin and you putting your cv or your curriculum video there would help you to get one step closer to your job the fourth thing which you want to do before your first devops job is for you to do interview preparatory sessions it is very important for you to learn the concepts and for you to master how to present those concepts in an interview. The best way for you to do that is through interview preparatory sessions. I can do interview preparatory sessions for you as well as you can get someone you're comfortable with and you do a demo interview preparatory session with that person. The basic interview preparatory session is you being comfortable to tell anyone about yourself, you being comfortable in listing out some of the technologies which you've used, and you being able to answer some technical questions pertaining to the DevOps process. The interview preparatory session will give you flexibility to learn or to master how to present these concepts in an interview, and you'll finally get yourself prepared before your interview. So the first step is you doing demo more interview sessions be with people you are comfortable with or you can reach out to me and we're going to set up a demo interview session together the fifth and the last point take as many interviews as possible some people think that you must gain a particular skill set before you land your first job or you must have a particular level of experience before you land your first job that is a false narrative you want to take as many interviews as possible once you're comfortable with at least five of the technologies which you've listed and you're sure that you've implemented at least five of those projects and you have those projects in your github repository that is the perfect opportunity for you to start taking your interviews it's important to start taking interviews you shouldn't wait till you've gone one year into the devops journey or two years into the devops journey or 10 months before you start taking your interview once you're comfortable with the technologies which you've learned and you're sure that you can or you've done your demo interview sessions and you have a good or a compelling resume Nothing stops you from taking your interviews. Go on and start taking the interviews. Remember, each interview makes you more prepared for the next. An interview doesn't necessarily mean that you get a job, right? And you can use some of those interviews to get yourself really, really ready for the next interview. So take as many interviews as possible. After you're taking these interviews, you find yourself that you become bold, you have a mastery of the subject, and interviews are going to be easy for you. And before you know, you're already having your job. So guys, those are the five things which I believe if you put in practice, you will land your first DevOps job. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you love this video and you're not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel now and you'll receive several such content that will help you to get your job. And if you're a retaining subscriber, do well to like this video, share this video with your friends, share this video with those in your sphere of contact and hit the notification bell because we will continue to give you content to help you be a successful DevOps engineer. Thank you.